Join me on my Super 73 S2 as I take you for a ride through my neighborhood. Hey, welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me on this ride along on my Super 73 S2. The reason why I'm doing a voiceover on this one is because I didn't quite get the audio dialed in with my Rode Wireless Go, but the ride was still beautiful so I wanted to share it with you. Up ahead are my buddies Tyler and Derek, we're all on our various e-bikes. Tyler is on the Super 73 RX and Derek is on, I don't know what the brand of that one is. Anyway, you'll probably see the brand of his bike somewhere throughout this video. That's him off to my right hand side. Tyler is up ahead. We headed out right around golden hour and we're taking it nice and easy. Derek got his bike today so we're taking it mellow to break it in. Our neighborhood's pretty hilly so it can really eat up the battery. But again, we're taking it nice and slow. You can see I'm pedaling up this hill, really digging in on that pedal assist. Also, I only have the bike set to class 2 which I believe it tops out at 20 miles an hour plus has full pedal assist. Uh, I believe Derek's bike tops out total at 20 miles an hour. So we just all set our bikes to that so we could stick together pretty easily. We're passing some cool Volkswagens over there on the left hand side. And as we made our way around the corner, we stopped to check out the mule deer and they were checking us out too. They're just moseying through the neighborhoods, probably looking for some tulips to eat or something. They actually look kind of scruffy, you can't see it in the video, but they probably have some winter fur on them. They didn't stick around for very long. As we came up through the neighborhood at the top of 36th Street, I was telling my friends that there's actually a picture of Ted Bundy right in that lawn off to the right hand side. Here's the picture. It's kind of creepy, you'll notice that house in the background as we go by it. but. I don't know, now that I've seen that picture, I think it was on the documentary that was on Netflix, but now that I've seen that picture, I can't think of that corner without thinking of Ted Bundy, which I wish wasn't the case. We hit the roundabout above Weber State University, home of Rookie of the Year and All-Star, Damian Lillard. We're really gonna put our bikes to the test here. We're going to pick up our buddy Tanner, and he lives in a steep, hilly neighborhood. On the left-hand side, you'll see Derek passing me. He has a bigger gear ratio than mine, so he had an easier time pedaling up the hills. Here you can see just how steep the hill was. We were on the class two setting, so we didn't really get a good run at it on our Super 73s. I think it would have done a lot better in the higher settings. And here I am doing switchbacks just so I can make it up the hill a little bit easier. By now our friend Tanner has joined the crew. He's the one in the red jacket pointing up the hill. He's on a Suron. It has zero issues going up and down this type of terrain. In fact, here he is going up a dirt road. No problem on the Suron. In fact, earlier that day he had climbed up towards a 10,000 foot mountain. And now I'm checking out the beautiful sunset. Before we headed out of this neighborhood, we hung a right to check out a newly remodeled house. Really unique design. You'll see it here in a few frames. But yeah, just still cruising around this hilly neighborhood. And now I'm bombing it down a hill. Well, not really bombing it. You can see my speedometer. I'm only going 21 miles an hour. So here's that cool house I was telling you about. It's basically just two garages and a front door before it drops down over the edge. And believe it or not, it's over 2,000 square feet. Here's a nice shot of the crew before we move on. We got that Suron, the RX in the middle, and a Velo Wave. All right, I promise I'm not completely fanboying over the Suron, but at this point I'm telling Tanner to go full throttle. We are going up a hill, and look at how easy it is for him to climb. And here he is blowing past us like it's no big deal, but that's all right, because we mainly hung together and had a great time. At the top of the hill, we stopped to enjoy the sunset and the beautiful view, and then we bombed it down the hill. You can see on my speedometer, I think I hit 41 miles an hour. I had a little cheap light on my spoke, and in the bottom left hand of the screen, you'll see it fly off. See, there it goes, slow motion, and it basically ninja starred over my head and just looked like a helicopter flew away. We turned around because I didn't want to litter. Tanner flew up the hill, he found it. It was easy to find because it was lit up, but here's what it was. It's just kind of a cheap light that I got off of wish.com. Hopefully that would be more visible at night. We started heading back the way that we came because it was getting dark. But I really like this shot to just kind of illustrate the beauty of where I live. So the Super 73 S2 does not come with a horn. But Derek, Tanner, and Tyler's bike, Tyler has the RX, they all had horns. So they stopped to make this beautiful chorus. <laughs> it's 
nice harmony. Before we called it a night, I wanted to hang a left on this little side road here. It's a community of houses back behind the junior high. It's pretty secluded, so I'm sure we caught the attention of one or two residents as we mobbed down it. I'd love to live on a nice secluded road like this, especially right in the middle of the town, but come to think of it where it's near the junior high, I bet it can get a little noisy during the day. Also, you can see in this shot just how well the headlight on the S2 does. This is the stock headlight, but I'm pretty pleased with the area that it illuminates and I feel pretty safe riding at night. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up and comment down below. Do you have a Super 73 or are you looking to get one? Also, if you are looking to get one, there is a link in the description below where you can get $100 off your first order. So be sure to check that out. Thanks again for watching, stay safe, and have a great rest of your day.